Hej och välkomna. In today's lesson we are going to talk about how we express future tense in Swedish. Sometimes we use ska, sometimes we use kommer att, and sometimes we even use other ways of expressing the future tense. So, today I'm going to try and explain this a little bit further. Okay, different ways of talking about the future. The first one, probably the most common one, the one you already know, ska plus infinitive, infinitive form of the verb. Then we have kommer at plus infinitive form of the verb. Present tense can also be used to talk about the future. And then tänka plus infinitive form. This is also a way of talking about something that's happening in the future. When we use ska, then we are determined to do something. Vi ska åka till Spanien i sommar. We are going to Spain this summer. Han ska bara arbeta fram till lunch. He is only going to work up until lunch. Vad ska du göra ikväll? What are you doing tonight? Ska hon inte hälsa på sina föräldrar i helgen? Isn't she going to visit her parents this weekend? Well, as you can see, in all these examples, we have the first verb, ska, which actually is, in this case, an auxiliary verb, a hjälp verb. Uh, and the main verb is always in infinitive form. Vi ska åka. The next one, ska arbeta. Next one, ska göra. And the last one, ska hälsa på. As you can see, all these uh, verbs in infinitive form, they end with an A. And they quite often do, but not always. So if you need to practice that more, please do, because it's super common. You need to get your infinitives right. If we want to express something that happens in the future, uh, according or, or compared to a certain point in time in the past, then we can use the tense futurum preteriti, which is skulle plus infinitive form. Vi skulle åka till Spanien. Han skulle bara arbeta fram till lunch. Vad skulle du göra? And so on. Second one, kommer att plus infinitive form. Now it's our intention of doing something. Jag kommer att lära mig svenska inom ett år. I'm going to learn Swedish within a year. That's a very good intention. De kommer att flytta tillbaka till Indien när barnen blir äldre. They're going back to India when the children becomes older. They're going to move back to India when the children gets older. That's their intention. Sometimes it's more of an expectation. Like in this example. Du kommer att känna dig bättre när du har sovit. You're going to feel better once you've slept. Or when you have slept. That's what we expect. We expect the sleep to make you feel better. Or in this example, hon kommer att bli glad för presenten. She's going to be happy about the gift. 
um, we expect her to be happy when she gets this presence, but we can't know for sure. And then when we use present tense, we must use it with a time expression. Otherwise, it doesn't become future tense. Look at this. Hon arbetar nästa vecka. She works next week. We use the verb arbetar in present tense, but with this time expression, it becomes future tense. Jag tar bussen till skolan imorgon. I'll take the bus to school tomorrow. Tar is present tense. Tomorrow, the time expression. De slutar klockan tre. They finish at three o'clock. Sluta is a verb in present tense and klockan tre, our time expression. The last one. Hon kommer hit om en stund. She'll be here in a bit, in a while. Now, why did I put this warning triangle here? Well, I don't want you to confuse kommer in this sentence. Kommer is a regular kommer in present tense. Uh, it only means kommer, comes. And compared to some of the examples, the previous examples, where we used kommer at, well, this, this can get confusing. But this is just comma, this is not comma at. Okay? You will see this uh, sometimes and then I want you to know why. And the last one, tänker plus infinitive. Think plus infinitive. Well, Tänker is only one of the ways you can use the English verb think. And if you want to know more about that, check out my other video, uh, which is called Tänka, Tänka tycka tro. Uh, also very important. But here, Tänka means planning. Jag tänker resa till Stockholm snart. I'm I'm planning to go to Stockholm soon. Maybe you could say I'm thinking of traveling to Stockholm soon. Om du inte tänker äta upp din pizza så tar jag den. If you're not eating your pizza, I will. Vi tänkte inte stanna så länge på festen, men vi hade så trevligt. Så vi kommer inte hem förrän klockan fyra på morgonen. We weren't planning to stay very long at the party, but we had such a good time, so we didn't come home until four o'clock in the morning. Planning. These are the four different ways you can express future tense in Swedish. I hope it made a little bit sense at least.